Good evening, uh, everybody. Welcome back to day six. Yeah, today's December 6th. That, that makes sense. Uh, Brew Crew... Knock the fucking camera around. Uh, Brew Crew Christmas Advent Calendar Especial. Today we have... Um, this is going to be a, a, a pretty divisive one. <clears throat> I think that's how you say that. This is... 450 North Yacht Squatch. Uh, Yacht Squatch 04? Number 4? Uh, a slushy double XL smoothie sour. And because I've screwed this up a handful of other times, I am going to do a little bit of swirling here. A little roll, roll frequencies. So. This is a sour ale, 5.3% alcohol. That's that seems shockingly low for uh, these people. Um, 450 North is a very lauded beer, as uh, as the homies would say. Um, and. I, I'm going to be a little bit against the grain here. Um, I'm also looking at their website. Um, most of the stuff I've had hasn't been my favorite. Um, if you aren't aware, I'm not exactly a sour guy. Um, I, these people have made good sours. I have appreciated sours from other breweries. Don't get me wrong. But if I had to. A sour probably isn't going to be my top pick. Probably wouldn't even be my top three. Um, just something about the this feeling. The I want to like them. I really do. Um, and there have been a bajillion attempts. I have made so many attempts to try, to want to try, to enjoy sours, and I just I can't. And I think I just haven't found the, like, blowout sour. Like, I know some of the other guys had just have, like, there's, like, one sour that just, like, like, boom, I love sours now. I don't know. Um, but we'll, we'll get this cracked open. This is a slushy double XL Yacht Squatch, um, which it's very reminiscent of the Board 8 Yacht Club, which if you're... I'm ashamed I even know that. If you're an uh, NFT collector, you're probably a virgin. Um, but I think it's a neat can. This is a sour ale, granola, raspberry, cinnamon, almonds, brown sugar, trail mix, and black cherries. And I keep seeing this, what appears to be a pumpkin, like a jack-o'-lantern face on a, like a icy logo bmsc don't know what that means i'm assuming it's a collab i'm gonna shut the fuck up and start drinking Whew. kind of got all over the place damn baby girl this is fuck um i did figure this would be a good time to break out a, a glass i've got my tiki Hoof-hearted brewing uh, tiki glass. I know these are always kind of kind of nuts. I'm hoping I poured this like a fucking asshole. I'm hoping my my swirling will have given it a lot of consistency in this drink. Maybe I don't know. This is a little bit left, so. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I'm unsure how to feel about this beer. <sighs> Granola, raspberry, cinnamon, almonds, brown sugar, trail mix, and black cherry. 
first off, what's the difference between granola and trail mix? Um, aside from, well, I guess that answers my own question. Am I? Granola would be oats and trail mix is a, yeah. Well, I don't know what it's trying to be, but I had, like, there's a, there's a very distinct, um, in my mind's eye. So, Chuggalos, close your eyes. I'm going to describe something to you and use your imagination to, to understand what the hell I'm talking about. So, if you're not hip to Dorothy Lane Market, there's dog barking now. Um. Dorothy Lane Market sells this thing called a Bakewell tart, and it's like almonds, raspberries, cherries, just kind of in a pastry dough. It's just like a square thing, and just like, it's fantastic. And it has the almonds, it has the cinnamon, powdered sugar, cherries. That is what this tastes like to me. Um... I went on that long diatribe about how I dislike... Uh, you, can, you can open your eyes now, by the way. Uh, don't let me control you. Um, I don't have that kind of sway over people. This is this reminds me of that um, in a really good way. And next time I see, if, if I remember, if I make the mental note, I'm going to bring some of this or get some of those and bring it to the guys and see... Of course, it probably wouldn't work well with without having this beer. Oh, well. This is... Incredibly good. Like, fantastically good. Um, I made all that fucking huff and puff about how I don't like... I don't like sours, and I feel like... Kind of a doofus now. Um, but in other th other things, we're going to talk about. Let's talk about the um, talk about the talk about 450 North their bur their brewery. It appears like they have a kitchen, and it looks like just going off a quick scanning here. Looks like they do pizza mostly. Uh, pizzas are always a good time. I fucks with pizza heavily. This kind of gives me. A uh, little bit of traditional, a little bit of, kind of reminds me of possibly, um, Old Scratch, that's the one. Um, I know they've been around, let's see, 450 North, Columbus, Indiana, which I know JT's been to, I don't know if Matt's been to, um, according to their website, they were established in 1827. Is that for real? Is there... Is there for realness with that? Don't know. We'll have to... The guys will have to get them on the pod and... Pick their brain about that. That seems like... 100 and... What? Fucking... Almost 200 years? 195 years almost? That seems like crazy to me. Um... But this is this is fucking crazy. Like I can't explain it. It's just and there's just hella residue on the on the glass. Um, it's it's thick. That's you typically, from what I understand, that's what these it's the XXL means. But I don't understand what this BMSC means. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's a collab. Um, but truly, I am just fascinated about this. Um, I was really... I'm, I'm blown away. Truly, I, I can't fucking... I can't even articulate a sentence on how like like impressed I am with this beer. Um, and because of that, I, I need to give it a score. Uh, 
yet. It's a lot of dead air there. I apologize. I was trying to appreciate this as much as possible. Um, Jesus Christ. 450 North. Yacht, Yacht Squatch. Slushy. Double XL. Sour. Ale. 5.3% alcohol. I give this a 4.75. Reason being, I feel like this could be way higher ABV. Like this has the potential to. It could have been a. Uh, it could have been a five if the alcohol was eight percent plus. Don't get me wrong. This is a, a fantastic drink. That is the one thing that detracts from it. I just. I think. And maybe this is the uh, competitive alcoholism in me, but if it's not seven percent or more, I just. I don't see a reason to, to want to drink like a lot of it. And and you know, that's uh, I'll probably get flamed in the comments for that one a little bit, but um Jesus, I enjoy the fuck out of this beer. I'm very looking for maybe you know, I'm gonna really enjoy this beer and everybody else is gonna be this is fucking trash, this is toilet water, Blah. like I don't know. I just I don't know. 4.75. Uh, thoroughly impressed with this one, everybody. Um, a little bit of a longer video too. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, as always, looking forward to everybody else's opinions and thoughts. Stay tasty. Stay beautiful. Um, love you and have have a great great rest of your day.